In this video, we take a look at another of the error detection methods, check digits. So this video is going to cover check digits. We've already covered parity checksums and echoes in a previous video, and automatic repeat queries are going to come up in a later video. So a check digit is the last digit included in a code or some other type of identification number. And we calculate it from all the preceding digits in the code. It's commonly used in barcodes, ISBN numbers and vehicle identification numbers. Check digits are used to try and identify errors which occur during data entry. These can be caused simply by mistyping or, for example, by misscanning a barcode. Typically, this approach is good at spotting various sorts of errors, for example, incorrect digits entered, transposition errors where two digits are accidentally swapped, phonetic errors, for example, typing 30 when you meant to type 13, and omitted or extra digits. Now, there are many different check digit calculations which can be used. One such method which we're going to walk through now is called Modulus 11, and it's used by the ISBN 10 system for books. Let's calculate the check digit for the product code 8175257655. So the first step is giving each digit a weighting, starting from the left and then counting down. Now in this example, we're counting down from 10 to 2, because once we have our check digit, the entire number will be 10 digits long. So that's how we determine the weighting amounts. We then multiply each digit by its weighting. We then add up all those multiplications together to give us a total. So in this case, it's 273. We then work out the remainder of this number once divided by 11. So 273 divided by 11, well, 11 goes in 24 times and we have nine remaining. So nine's the number we're now dealing with. Finally, we subtract this remainder from 11. So 11 minus nine equals two, and that's our check digit. Now it should be noted, if the result of subtracting the remainder from 11 is 10, then we use the Roman numeral symbol for 10, which is X as our check digit. But in this example, it was two. So our complete number with the check digit is 8175257652. So that's calculating our check digit. And here is the complete number with the check digit included. But how do we check? the check digit to see if the number's been typed in correctly. Well, given each digit a weighting starting from left, just as we did before, but we're including the check digit this time, so it can therefore be assigned the value of one, whereas previously we were stopping at the value at weighting of two. Just like before, we multiply each digit by its weighting, and then sum up the results of all those multiplication. So now we've got the number 275. The total is divided by 11 again. And if the remainder is zero, which it is in this circumstance, we know the number is valid. Here's a summary of everything we've discussed. Pause the video and take some notes.